Welcome to the launch of Save Our Watershed Campaign Number. I guess everybody by now knows that watersheds are for a multitude of benefits. There are more than 130 critical watersheds in the country that desperately need immediate protection and rehabilitation to minimize erosion, as I was saying, and improve water yield. Let us be constantly reminded that appropriate stewardship is needed in our watersheds for us to mitigate the adverse impacts of climate change induced disasters. People's support to government actions, therefore, is still the key. It is on this premise that the Department of Environment and Natural Resources is launching today a national campaign to save our water shape. This is a platform, the Save Our Water Shed campaign, as a platform to encourage partnership and collaborations for, for this cause. We are now formulating the national directive in the form of an executive order, which we will endorse for the president's approval. This will pave the way for the establishment of institutional mechanisms for the collaborative and whole of society efforts in conserving our watersheds. Likewise, my salutation to the members of the Sangunyan Panlalawigan for enacting Provincial Ordinance Number 2020-27, institutionalizing the Ifugao Indigenous forestry knowledge system or otherwise known as the Ifugao Moyong system as a mode of responding to the increasing risk brought about by the impact of environmental degradation adversely affecting our economic growth, health and destruction of infrastructure facilities due to landslide and flooding and other natural calamities. With this, I am challenging local chief executives and private sectors to take into consideration this critical matter in your own jurisdiction to inculcate in your development plan programs and projects. As Vice Governor of our beloved province, I authored an ordinance institutionalizing the Ifugao Indigenous Forestry Knowledge System otherwise known as the Ifugao Muyong system, and adapting as a sustainable approach to forest management program of the province of Ifugao. I authored also other ordinances related to the environment, which we hope to save and maintain our remaining forest. The ordinances seek to ensure that there are enough forest resources remaining for the present and future generation of the Ifugao people. It also promotes to maintain the Ifugao traditional forest knowledge systems relative to maintaining its land use and to use the Ifugao Muyong system as an approach to assisted natural regeneration of forest programs and strategy in the province and the like. As an Ifugao and with our Muyong system in place, we would like to assure the national government that the local government unit of Ifugao are strongly supporting the Save the Watershed campaign. The provincial government launched our flagship program on environmental management dubbed as Quirino Protection of Watersheds, Ecosystems, and Rivers for Sustainability. In short, it's called Q-Powers. The Q-Powers program aims to empower the communities to protect and conserve the major watersheds and rivers of the province. As this pandemic is truly testing our resilience, it is crucial that we strengthen our collaboration with various stakeholders and partners. We deeply 
sincerely and vigorously advocate genuine concern for our environment. Together, we can be instruments in creating safer and more resilient communities and continue to sustain our efforts in the rehabilitation, recovery, and protection of our watersheds. The province of Iloilo fully supports the Save Our Watershed national campaign of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and other stakeholders. We have the Iloilo Watershed Management Council, which is tasked to monitor and improve the state of the 23 watersheds all over the province. The Iloilo Provincial Government is actively helping the IWMC in the implementation of its programs and projects. With the help of the local government units and our partners from the national government agencies and private organizations, we have sustained our reforestation program, which we call Tanum Iloilo. Let us continue to work together for the protection and preservation of our watersheds and for ensuring a sustainable environment. Towards the protection of the watersheds on behalf of the Governor of the Province of Nueva Ecija, Governor Aurelio M. Omali, and the, the Provincial Government of Nueva Ecija, we commit our unconditional support to all the efforts of the national government through the DNR under the, special, the able leadership of Secretary Simatu. And all includes the enactment of necessary ordinances, pledges, and the like. We declare that uh, the right to determine the priority use of our water resources and the legitimacy of water rights awarded to users in order to restore balance. We believe that water is an intergenerational inter gener concern that the present must safeguard for the sake of the future inhabitants of Nueva Vizcaya and of course the entire Philippines. We believe that uh, um, the Water Summit in Nueva Vizcaya is a means to raise our voices and to express our solidarity with other sectors, including with the um, summit that is now being done, to speak for the present and future state of our water resources. And we announce and proclaim our right as the original caretakers of these water resources, and that we will fully exercise these rights and responsibilities to defend and ensure its protection. I would like also to announce that just recently, on uh, June 7, 2021, and I hope this uh, uh, will reach not only the Secretary of uh, DNR, but the President himself, the Pisangguran Pandalawigan of our province passed a resolution, um, resolution number 2021-3838, the title of which is a resolution favorably endorsing to the Office of the President of the Philippines through the Regional Development Council the proposal to proclaim Nueva Vizcaya watersheds as critical watershed forest reserves. Ito po ay hinihingi namin and uh, I would like to conclude by saying that during that water summit in Nueva Vizcaya three years ago, we traverse issues that are related to uh, issues of watershed, such as climate change, land degradation, degradation, loss of biodiversity, food crisis, water crisis, and energy crisis. So today, we are here because we would like to support this undertaking initiated by the DNR under the leadership of our ABOR Secretary, Roy Isimato. Mabuhay po tayo lahat. Sabihin nga natin yun sabay-sabay. Ayan, konting pampa-energize lang everyone watching online. I know you're on mute, but together, let's save it. Sama-sama tayo to save our watershed. Siyempre sa sarili nating wika, naalala ba natin ang sinabi kanina ni uh, Sek Simatu and Asek Amaro, which is kanlungang tubig. Ayan, sabihin po natin sabay-sabay, ang watershed sa Pilipino ay kanlungang tubig. Kanlungang tubig. Ayan, may narinig, may narinig akong mga boses. Thank you so much for joining me and echoing that. 
I urge everyone to for, for your continued support in the rehabilitation, protection, and conservation of our watersheds. I fervently hope that by the end of this event, we can forge more commitments and support in this undertaking. Let our collective efforts and partnership be the spark in the paving way for a more intensified and countrywide action in saving and preserving the watersheds in the Philippines. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my sincerest thanks to Secretary Shimatsu and DNR officials for the fruitful partnership with the government of Japan and all the decades of continued support and full cooperation in the implementation of various environment-related projects. In closing, I would like to congratulate DNR for this successful campaign, and I look forward to continuing our partnership in the years to come. Marami, marami salamat The PDP has specified strategies for rehabilitating our watersheds. This include the adoption of integrated and science-based restoration approaches, such as forest landscape restoration to rehabilitate the remaining unproductive, denuded, and degraded forest areas, adoption of nature-based solutions to enhance water conservation and efficiency measures to avert any water shortage, and scaling up of comprehensive water resource assessment activities in groundwater critical areas and major river basins for sustainable water supply. We really need to continue uh, awareness raising on the importance of forests and watershed for every Filipino and it takes a change in behavior to ensure a greener and more sustainable lifestyle. I believe that change in action should start from individuals which can spread to groups, communities, and the whole nation. The tasks at hand require unified action, not only of the government, but also of the society as a whole. Thus, we believe that this campaign will be a good venue to enjoy the participation of the LGUs, private sector, and communities in the implementation of the PDP priority strategies to ensure that the remaining natural forests and reforested areas remain intact and protected for the benefit of the present and future generations. Um, on behalf of the Energy Development Corporation, we would like to express our support and commitment to the Save Our Watershed campaign of the DNR and JICA. EDC, through our Binhi program, uh, has been protecting and conserving our watershed resources within our geothermal reservations. No? Um, for us, um, watershed management is not just uh, a CSR no? or corporate social responsibility, but it's part of our business strategy and uh, sustainability. Because um, when we are protecting the watershed, it, it means that our geothermal resources are sustained. No? So if we don't protect the forest and if we don't protect our watersheds, then our geothermal uh, steam will not be sustained in the long run. So for us, it's a um, it's both a uh, commitment and as well as um, part of our uh, business strategy and, uh, and mission. On behalf of the organization I represent, I appeal to all our countrymen, men, women, and children, islanders and lowlanders, to embrace this collective duty to protect our watersheds. I believe that the cost-sharing mechanism that our Watershed Management Council have been advocating for some time now is an avenue for everyone to perform this national duty. Let us be open in pursuing this cause until such time that cost-sharing mechanism are fully operational. Let us continue helping in our little ways, even with the smallest contributions towards the site objective. Given that huge area and project costs, the benefits that the project brought to our communities has uplifted much our living conditions. Since water is life, let us save our environment, let us save our forests, protect and sustain our watersheds.
Thank you very much. Now, as a symbol of these commitments, may we graciously ask our DNR officials, led by Secretary Simatu, and our guests to please approach our commitment wall and sign it as their pledge as well. in uh, sa ano sa level ng uh, uh, pay organizations ma- napakarami po ang uh, benefits na matanggap natin sa program kasi in uh, in the uh, sa socio economic life ng mga tao doon sa forest land sa watershed eh uh, itong mga Uh, component ng project na dumating sa mga area ay nakaka-uplift ng living condition ng mga tao doon sa especially in this agroforestry at saka ganun din sa uh, ASF yung uh, agroforest uh, support facility ay na, napakarami po kasi especially for example the roads the bridge especially uh, Uh, merong mga situation na uh, the rivers cannot be crossed by people uh, uh, transporting their products sometimes going to uh, hospitals ganon eh ngayon yung mga facilities na yan pag, uh, pagkatapos ng mga yan ay napakarami kasi accessible na ang uh, uh, lugar in terms of transportation so Generally, doon sa living condition sa mga tao uh, na may napakalaking porsento ang pagtaas ng level ng uh, uh, economic life sa lugar. So, yan ang uh, isa sa mga benefits na makukuha ng mga uh, tao sa lugar, especially in the watershed areas. Environmentally, meron ding uh, benefits kasi doon sa na sa education na na educate na educate ang mga tao tungkol sa pag-alaga uh, ng mga environment kasi uh, for example in uh, high in the highlands i mentioned it highlands the life uh, style of the people there is feasible uh, gardening ang pagdating ng uh, projects ng program na ito uh, sa education ay nala, na, natututo na ang mga tao kung paano nilalagaan ang ating uh, environment. Kaya yan ay isa na benefits na bibigay sa lugar. Uh, na may minimize na natin ang uh, rampant uh, destruction of forest. Na may minimize na natin uh, na, na, na itataas natin ang level ng participation ng mga tao na alagaan ang ating mga uh, kalipasan. Thank you. So, good afternoon po sa ating lahat. Ano? Uh, yung mga activities po ng ating Save Our Watershed campaign is basically, unang-una, awareness raising. Ano? Uh, nasabi na po kanina, marami tayo mga webinars, mga tree planting activities, at saka iba't iba pang mga activities. Pero ultimately po, uh, nagda-draft kami ng isang executive order para strengthen o, o mag-forge uh, ng formal declaration para sa isang Code of Society Collaborative Management of Our Watersheds. Uh, ang, ang target po natin is that uh, mapapirmahan ito sa ating president sa, para systems approach na tayo uh, in terms of watershed management. Uh, in due time po, malalaman natin kung, kung ano-ano pa yung mga iba activities pero uh, 
meron pa po kami mga forums na gagawin. Uh, most likely, with the, uh, monthly or every other week, meron pong mga uh, environmental forums na gagawin pa. Uh, yun po. Uh, ang SMP, isa sa mga prime uh, projects na ini-implement ng uh, DNR uh, with uh, PAPS oversight uh, uh, doing. Okay? Uh, aside from uh, SMP, meron tayong INREM, Integrated Natural Resource Management Program, who can uh, complement the activities of Save the Water campaign. Oh, and aside from that, meron ding mga packets of uh, projects na pwedeng mag-support uh, sa overall Save our, our Watershed campaign. Oh, thank you. Uh, the DNR's mandate, and we need to consult. Uh, even those which would be affected, not necessarily having jurisdiction, but those to be affected, particularly in the coastal areas, which are part of what we consider the watershed. It's under the ridge to reef. So basically, it won't depend on uh, the uh, schedules uh, that we will be uh, coming up with, subject of the pandemic. But uh, what is uh, for sure is that uh, we will really aim at coming uh, with the, uh, the draft that is uh, ready to be endorsed to Malacanang, uh, hopefully uh, before the end of the year. Maraming salamat po. This has been Antoine Toss. Honored to be your host and moderator for the launch of the Save Our Watershed campaign. Sama-sama po tayo for a healthy, safe, and secure future for the Filipinos.